Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll be showing you some cool tips and tricks of Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Also, it will apply to Samsung Galaxy S10 and S10e. So let's start the video, but before I start, kindly subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notified every time I post a new video. My first tip is about the dual app support. Go to settings, click on advanced features. Now click on dual messenger. You can enable dual apps for Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram. Plus there are lots of application which supports dual application. So this is handy if you have two accounts for Facebook, Instagram or WhatsApp. You can enable all of them in one device. Go to display settings. Go to screen mode. Now by default Samsung gives you vivid color display which will make things more colorful and saturated. But if you like more natural and neutral look, you can choose neutral option over here. Not only that, you can also click on the advanced setting and choose the white balance according to your liking. You can also choose cooler or warmer tone here in this menu. Night mode can also be enabled here or from the notification settings. When you choose night mode settings, notifications will have a dark theme. The phone dialer and the messages will get a dark theme also. This is a good option if you want to save some battery life. Font size can be changed right here in the display setting. And also, if you have difficulty in reading, you can enable the bold fonts. By default, the screen resolution is Quad HD+, but if you want to save a bit of battery life, you can change it to Full HD Plus display, which is also good to save some battery and the screen will still look good. One of the coolest feature is for the navigation. Now you can simply use full screen gestures rather than the navigation buttons. Very similar to what we have seen on iPhone X or iPhone X Max. And to use them easily, you can enable the gesture hints option, which will give you the three lines for the swiping area. The right one is to go back, the center is to go to the home screen, and the left one is for multitasking menu. Also, you can change here the button order. And once you are used to the gestures, you can disable the gesture hints. Now suppose you are inside a gallery application. Swiping up from the right will take you back. Swiping to the left will take you to the multitasking. And swiping to the center will take you back to the home screen. Now let's take a look at the multitasking. In One UI 1.1 version, I must say the multitasking is quite fluid here. The scrolling is fast and quite smooth. So when you tap on the head of any applications in multitasking, it will drop a small menu. You can choose split screen multitasking option here. Now you can choose any second application for the split screen multitasking. For example, I choose dialer here. So now we are in the multitasking window. To come out of multitasking, just hold and swipe up. Click on the app head again to open the app in pop-up view. For example, gallery application. By clicking on the right of the application, you can increase or decrease the transparency of the application. Also, you can minimize the app. It will turn into a floating icon. You can close the application anytime you want to. Now Galaxy S10 Plus has 8 GB of RAM. And I must say, it's keeping everything buttery smooth here for the multitasking. There is a digital well-being settings, which by machine learning will give you accurate details. With time, it will give you more handy information. Good to see the good old device care feature, which will optimize your device whenever it's needed. Now pinching your fingers will enable the home screen setting. You can customize the home screen grid. Go to the theme store. Go to your favorite widget as you like. Lock screen shortcuts can also be customized as per your liking. By default, it's dialer on the left side and camera on the right. You can choose any application of your choice. For example, email on the left and let's keep the camera on the right. So now once you go back to the lock screen, you will see email on the left side and the camera on the right. Pinching your finger will give you home screen settings. And here you can disable Bixby if you don't use it. Now swiping to the left will not take you to Bixby. Go to settings, go to about phone, go to software information. Now click the bill number seven times. It will enable the developer option menu. Now this is very handy if you are into Android development or in general. Any Samsung Galaxy device you buy has a secret menu. If you want to check the device hardware, type star hash o star hash. It will take you to the device diagnostic menu. The main thing here is you can check the LCD screen if it has any dead pixels or not. That's all guys for this video. Do click over here for my playlist of Galaxy S10 
series of videos. Soon more videos coming for this amazing device. So stay tuned to my channel by subscribing. Also hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. See you in my next video. Till then, goodbye and peace out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Also click on the notification icon, the bell icon, so you'll constantly get updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.